I'm Tom Lin. This is my friend Kurt Frankenberg. Week 38, arm drives. Um, we're also going to have something we call the wrestling killer. So first thing we're going to be doing is from our knees, butterfly guard, any of this sort of stuff. People a lot of times will start like this or they'll start like this. Either of these positions, you can start from either of these and right away hit this arm drag. I can do it from butterfly guard, which is a good spot to, to sit from. So I'm here, I'm gonna start in butterfly guard. He's trying to, of course, pass my legs. I have a couple of variations that I can do from here. I can grab same side wrist, opposite eye elbow, okay? Pull it across towards the far side so that I'm exposing his back. And now I can reach across, grab the far side, hook in, sit up, take the back, okay? Now the challenge with this is if you've ever come across anybody who's wrestled before, they're gonna recognize this as an arm drag right away. So another benefit we have is the gi, okay? So in this case, I can grab cross side sleeve, same side elbow, and this is a little bit more uh, conspicuous in terms of what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I pull across, I let go with that armpit, and I, I'm gonna grab his armpit here, take my foot out, Turn, this hook is already there, and now I'm going to take it back right there, okay? So kind of in live time. One other little challenge, one other little thing that I like to do is when I get this grip, I like to push his other knee out of the way. So I like to go like this, and that adds a little extra benefit when I go to take it back, okay? Here, okay, the other arm, the other way is here, okay? All right. <laughs> no. Next one we're going to be doing is a wrestling killer. A lot of times wrestlers will end up in this turtle position and I have an over under, okay? If I have double under, double under his arm, this is not going to be as effective. Here a lot of times jiu-jitsu people are looking for chokes, wrestlers are looking for head control. So I'm going to have this head and arm position. He's going to do a peek out, a sit out, whatever you call it. He steps up with the foot. Typically he's going to go this direction. Uh, go back real quick. In wrestling, sometimes they'll go this way, but this is gonna give me a choke if he goes that way. So oftentimes people that know better won't go towards the head. They're gonna go towards the armpit side. So he steps up with this leg. He hits me with that elbow, peeks his head out, sits through, and now he can turn and take my back, okay? So what we're working on is how to defend that. I have his head, I have his arm. He sits up, he starts going, he throws that elbow over. I'm gonna take my far leg and just throw it, okay? Now, I don't wanna put it back here, and I don't wanna try and land on my knee. I need to throw my foot far forward, and now I can let go, and I'm on top, okay? So I had top control, he's turtled up, he starts to get out, he starts to keep out, boom, okay? Trap, my foot goes as high as I can get it, stomp that foot, and then back to mount. 